this is Waterlily716, or Sarah, and today I'm going to be doing a video about my best of the best, um, low-end conditioners. Um, now the majority of these are from drugstores, but I really think there are a ton of good organic conditioners, um, from like your natural health food store or your organic local store that you can find locally, and the prices do tend to be a bit higher, but not quite as bad. So, section of the video for these um, first whatever conditioners, they don't have any silicones in them and like mineral oil or anything. Um, so they're completely water soluble, and you and you wouldn't need to use even shampoo with these. I'll be organics at like um, Whole Foods and stuff, and all the rest of the stuff in this video is from the drugstore. Anyways. Um, the first conditioner, and this is an old time favorite, is the Aubrey Organics Honeysuckle Rose Conditioner. Um, and this comes in a white bottle with like green writing and yellow stuff. And it smells kind of like sunscreen, which I really like. And this is a super moisturizing conditioner. The Aubrey Organics Conditioner is just really natural. This one has aloe vera, shea butter, um, jojoba oil, um, hip seed oil and it's a really moisturizing conditioner really moisturizing like really thick moisturizing conditioner and then um the rest of these conditioners are also um good to try i've only tried like one of the other ones but i know that a lot of people like them um garnier fructis actually recently reformulated their conditioners and i like them a lot and the first one i have is this one it will focus. Um, this is the Garnier Fructis Fortifying Cream Conditioner, the Sleek and Tried version for frizzy, dry, and manageable hair. And this is a very moisturizing conditioner again. The Garnier Fructis conditioners all have that sort of distinctive scent. It's a little fruity. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but um, they all kind of smell the same. You know what I mean? But um. This has moisturizing alcohols, nice oils, apple fruit extract, glycerin, which is good, avocado oil, um, apricot kernel oil, more moisturizing alcohols, and stuff. So, I really like this conditioner. It's one of my new favorites. It's very moisturizing. Um, and then, a lot of the Giovanni conditioners have been reformulated to be without silicones, but I haven't tried them all yet. But I did try the Giovanni Triple Nutrition Conditioner. And that has a lot of moisturizing alcohols and actually pretty similar ingredients. It's got oils, it's got shea butter and glycerin. Um, so it's a good conditioner. It's a bit lighter, and conditioner is kind of a personal thing. I know I like the heavier conditioners, um, except for in the summer. I might reach for light conditioners when it's really dry out, or not really dry when it's really humid out. I might reach for like a lighter conditioner. So this is a bit lighter, um, but I still like it. And then another lighter conditioner is the Tresemme Naturals Nourishing Moisture Conditioner. This has the white bottle with like the green accents in the leaf. I just have a little travel size container of this. Um, this is a conditioner that I like currently for my leave-in conditioner. I also like lighter conditioners not just during the summer but for leave-ins. I don't know. I just like them more than um, heavier conditioners sometimes. And this has a really nice sort of aloe scent. It's very natural. And this is a very natural conditioner for the drugstore. Like, Garnier Fructis still has, like, a bunch of, like, parabens and stuff in it, which aren't very natural. But this just has, like, moisturizing alcohols. Um, and, like, it has, like, USDA organic ingredients. So, it's got aloe, juice skin. So, this is a pretty nice light conditioner. And next up is another longtime favorite of mine. I've been using this for a while, and it is the generic. Let's see if it would focus. Okay, well, this is the generic value products matrix bioledge conditioning balm, and you can get this at Sally's Beauty Supply. They have a lot of high-end beauty favorites um, in their generic value products. Basically, they have like the same 
ingredients. So it's pretty great. And this has moisturizing alcohols again and rosemary leaf extract, golden seal extract. I don't even know what that is. But anyways, um, this is a nice thick moisturizing conditioner again. Um, I like the scent of this. It's hard to describe. Um, I would label it as a floral scent, like most hair care products. Um, but it smells good to me. Yeah, this is great. It's a lot cheaper, definitely, than the high-end version at Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, another product which I haven't been using recently, but I remember loving it when I was using it. You know, you sort of use product and you don't use product. Um, and that's the L'Oreal mm -hmm. and that's the L'Oreal Vive Pro Nutriglass Conditioner for medium to long hair. That's curly or wavy. Very specific, but um, you have to have that whole string for this to be the silicone free version. They also make other ones, and I've used them by accident. They're pretty good, but this is my this is the silicone free one, and I really like it. And it comes in a pink container, and again, it just has moisturizing alcohols, um, palm oil, glycerin, um, jojoba oil. I don't know how to pronounce that, and yeah. I really like this conditioner. It has like a very strong floral scent, but it wasn't bad. And this was another thick, very moisturizing conditioner. Um, so yeah, really like that one. And then I hesitated whether to include these last two, but I have used them. Um, they just have light silicones in them, so you would need either a sulfate condi cleanser or actually a cleanser with like a light, a shampoo with a light cleanser like Cocomito Purple Betaine. Um, those will work to get these out. Um, this one has a mode myth coat, and this is the L'Oreal Vipa Pro Hydro Gloss for very dry or damaged hair. Um, and the yellow bottle, and I've also used that, and it's pretty good. I think it was a bit lighter. Um, and then I talked about this in another video the Pantene Curly Hair Series Conditioner, um, dried and moisturized. Um, and this is a pink flesh white bottle. And this has B amino propyl dimethicone, but then again, that's that's a light silicone. Um, and the scent, I remember it was it was pleasant. I don't remember exactly. It's another hard to describe scent. I guess it classified as a floral. Um, but that was a heavy moisturizing conditioner. There are a lot of good conditioners at the drugstore if you can read your ingredients right for curly hair. So. Um. <laughs>